What's going on everybody here on YouTube? Just want to show y'all my latest project here. This is an old uh, building that's on the property where I live at. I don't know what year it was built, but it's got, you can see it's old tobacco barn boards. And about 50% of it was rusted. And so I'm going to turn this building, let me just walk over here and check the inside. I'm going to turn this building into a workshop. All those shelves up there and there are going to come out. And I'm probably going to try to find some cheap cabinets at a flea market, yard sale or something. Um, so I can work out of this building. Uh, that engine and transmission goes to that car. You guys have seen that car on YouTube. Plenty of times there's the hood for it, but this video is more about this. Uh, this let me see, I can crawl over in the door or wall. I'm gonna put a new door right there. I don't know if that's mold right there, but if it is, I'll have to get some bleach or something. Um, I remember this building when I was younger. It was already built, but I don't know the year. It's got a lot of new two by or two by fours in it, so can't be. Someone must have done some work to it. But it's pretty solid, and uh, and right next to it is a lean to. I'll just place the camera down. That's where all my junk is stored. I don't know if I'm going to use these cabinets and that table, or I'm going to buy some. Here are the chickens in the neighborhood. My chickens are just waking up, I think. But these are old t uh, tobacco barn buildings. They were done in a sawmill, I don't know, 50s, 60s. But like I said, I'm going to. I may end up taking them cabinets down and cutting a door away right behind them and closing this building in. I'll have to close that in. It's going to need some new light. I'm probably going to take them lights out and get one of those shop lights and hang it from those two. But this is my next project so I can start doing some small engine repair, working on my cars and stuff. This might be a temporary building. I don't know. The floors seem alright. It's, it's on the ground. But these are all salt treated boards, I think they said. It's got some leaks. Right there's a leak. I don't know if I can save the, the roof. I may have to go and it's got shingles on top. I'm not going to get up and on a ladder today, but it's got shingles. That looks like it's been redone at one time. But I've always wanted a small little workshop. And I did this yesterday right here. I cut this with my chainsaw, all these boards. To... <clears throat> There's the pile right there. They didn't want to come off so easy because of these nails. See if I can find some nails here. I don't know what kind of nails they are, right there. But let's just say you can't just yank them out with a hammer. I broke the heads off of them. And one of my boys was out here yesterday. He was trying. He thought he was gonna get the nails out. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Should I? What should I turn this into? Like I said, I want to put some tables and stuff maybe right over here, or back out to clear all this out. That's an old bunk bed. I don't know whose bed that is. An old table over there. I might use that for now. But I don't know if I want to insulate it. I don't want to put a lot of money into it and something happens. I may end up building a garage. I don't know. I've got to fix that. But like I said, leave in the comments below. Leave your suggestions on what I should do. And uh, I'll keep you updated. And on the next video, I'll probably have this the other piece of tin. I'm just going to put tin on it for now. 
There's my backyard. It's, I don't know. It's probably a couple acres back there. But thank y'all for watching. And as always, just leave a comment, like, comment, subscribe. Until the next one, take care.